Again, it's a great pleasure to be here on Catholic TV with you in this Lenten season, uh, which is a time of prayer, penance, and almsgiving. And one of the things that is important for us Catholics to do, our Lord says, says, knock and the door will be opened to you. Ask and you shall receive. One of the things I think in our Catholic life that's so important to ask for this Lent is to ask the Lord to have a personal relationship with Him. Uh, I think oftentimes we as Catholics may go through the motions of, of being Catholic, um, maybe saying our prayers, our Father, Hail Mary, Glory be, maybe we're we have a devotion to the rosary, which, by the way, I love the rosary, and we should pray the rosary on a daily basis. She does, uh, bless the mother, does great things for us if we pray the rosary, so continue to have a devotion to her. But sometimes the risk, we run the risk of um, being, simply having a functional prayer life, a functional prayer life where we don't really have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And oftentimes it's a, it's a term that the Protestants have taken over and said personal relationship with Jesus Christ. No, that's for everyone. That includes Catholics. And one of the things that we could do this Lent is say, Lord, show me how to have a personal relationship with you. I don't want to be a function of just spitting out prayers. I want to know and love you. I mean, imagine if you had a friend, and, and you, speak, if you speak to that friend on a regular basis. Imagine if you just came up to him and says, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Where, where are you going? What are you doing today? Like, our Lord, okay, on one hand, you know, okay, it's great. But on the other hand, we got to ask the Lord and speak to him like he is a real person. He's a real person. And at the same time, we got to listen to what he says to us. Like, Lord, what are you saying to me this Lent? Like, give him some moments of silence. Knock on his door and say, Lord, I'm knocking at your door. Speak to me. I want to know what you're saying to me. You know, he wants to tell us something. But oftentimes in a society where we live in massive distraction, always next thing after another, always, always continually bombarded with noise and all kinds of distractions, our Lord can't speak to us. He can't speak to us. So we have to give him the time and day and say, Lord, I'm going to sit in silence here. Speak to me, O Lord. Speak to me. What do you want to tell me this Lent? About me, about how I ought to live my life, where I should be going. And he will speak to us. But we got to, he speaks in silence. That's the problem. We live in a society where there is no silence. And then people ask themselves, Oh, I can't hear God. I don't know what God wants me to do with my life. I'm anxious. I'm lonely. I don't, I'm all confused. with my. Well, it's because we're not silent. A lot of times it's because we're not silent. So that's a great Lenten resolution is to be sit some time throughout the day in silence and say, no, I'm knocking on the heart of Christ. Knock, knock. And he says, I'm going to speak to you because you are willing to listen. You are willing to listen. Another thing of encouragement I would just like to say to all of you viewers who are in your elderly stages of life, you know, sometimes you may be discouraged that you can't do my physically, you're physically ill, you're suffering from chronic illness, and you're saying to yourself, you know what, I can't do much for God. I, I, I'm, I'm useless. The feeling of uselessness, of loneliness. But I just want to encourage you that that is, a, that is a lie from the devil. That is not true at all. Okay, you who are sitting right now watching this TV mass, I want to let you know that the Lord wants everything you have left. He wants your loneliness. He wants your anxiety. He wants every, your, your, you know, your, you don't know what to do with in life. You say, Lord, I give all of this to you, O Lord. Make that a prayer. I'm feeling lonely and feeling anxious. Nobody's taking care of me. Make that a prayer. Say, Lord, I give this over to you. Take charge of my life. Take possession of my heart, mind, and soul. I'm completely yours, O Lord. And he will do that for you. Don't ever think you're a waste. That is a lie. That is, that is a lie. At the very least, we can always pray for the sanctification of the world, for the sanctification of the church, for the sanctification of our friends and family members. There's great, great merit be, uh, for that. So never be discouraged thinking, oh, I'm useless. You're not. You're not useless. That is, that is false. Uh, you are a beloved child of God, and He asks you to, in these, in these moments of your last, whatever, how old ever, how, however old you are, to say, I give you everything, Lord. Everything is yours. So we ask the Lord this plan to help us to have a personal relationship with Him, to help us to grow in holiness so that we can offer Him everything that we have, our minds, our hearts, our souls, our whole being, that He may take possession of us, that He may be the King of our hearts today and all the days of our lives. We ask this in His most holy name. Amen.